What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Two Juicy Garage. As you guys know, I recently did my Brembo brakes on my 350Z and on the end of that video, I did mention that I was having issues with my brake pedal being so loose and it was not grabbing until I pushed the pedal about halfway down. So today we're gonna be fixing that. So what I have here today is a snap-on vacuum brake bleeder to bleed the lines, get all the air out of the lines a lot easier. It's uh, I hook it up to the air hose and I'm supposed to put this on the fitting and stuff. So I want to give a massive shout out to my uncle for letting me borrow this tool. This tool should be very handy and it should be pretty quick, but it should be pretty straightforward. I hook this on to the fittings, the bleeder fittings, and on the other end I hook it to the top of the gun and on the bottom I hook up the air hose. And then it collects all the fluid so the fluid does not go to waste whenever I suck all the air out. So that's one awesome thing. You guys probably seen all of this right now, this car. Um, that will all come in a later video and I'll explain it to you guys exactly what the purpose of this car is and what it is and what it's for but it's it's a slick top so it's pretty rare five speed I'll, I'll explain more of it later but I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the fronts do the front first and then we'll move on to the rears and let's see how this machine works this should uh, make our life a lot easier I should be able to do this on my own too so it should be a one person bleeder thing so this video is going to be to show you guys exactly how to get all the air out of your lines using a vacuum brake bleeder. Alright, so I just had to loosen up the fitting a little bit more and fluid started shooting out. You see if I press the gun. Gonna pull the fluid out. So first, what you want to look at is the reservoir. And make sure the reservoir doesn't go too low and then you get air in the lines. So you want to keep an eye on that and just make sure you get all the air out. Okay, so you can see how much fluid I have here. It saved all, the, all that fluid, bleeding all these. Um, I did have to fill it up one time. So now I think I got this side pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other side. So it's really hard for me to hold the camera and show you guys exactly what I do, but I got to take off these rubber covers on the fittings. And then you want to connect this piece, connect it to here, bam, and then get your uh, fitting. But you got to connect the air first, have the air ready, and then once you have it set, loosen it up, start sucking it till you see some fluid coming out, solid fluid. Wow, pretty tight. Okay. It should be set. Now we can start sucking. These Brembos, they have two sides. You have one fitting in the inside, one fitting in the outside. So keep that in mind and do not forget that. If we come to the reservoir, you see we sucked a little bit out. So I think the fronts are pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels back on and jump to the rear. Um, we were having issues on this side of the rear, so I'm pretty sure we'll probably get a lot of air out of these lines. I need someone else recording me so you guys can get that nice shot, but this side should be pretty straightforward. I am pretty sure the rears are the reason why the brake pedal feels the way it does because uh, we did get a lot of air back here. So I went ahead and added some fluid into the container. So we should be good on fluid for a bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the rear one first, the inside one. I think I got this side pretty good. Uh, I hope that footage was good. You guys seen I did a big splatter right now trying to get, take the thing out, but I think we're doing pretty good. 
Okay, so I have completed the rears, and now that I figured out how to use it, um, figured out an easier way for me to do it, I just leave it going itself while I go, I'm over there at the reservoir and it just sucks all the air out. Once you hear the gun like go solid, like just a straight, straight sound, then you're good. I got the air out of the rear. There's a lot of air in the rear, so good thing we got all that out. So let me put these wheels back on real quick, and then we'll go for a quick drive and see how, how it feels. Well, I'll tell you guys what, I already feel a huge difference. The car's not even on. Okay, sure, it, it, it is a big difference, I ain't gonna lie. There's a huge difference. Oh yeah, way better. Oh my gosh. That is a big difference, huge huge difference now it's grabbing right away instant that was the issue the whole time big 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 difference it's breaking much better now it's grabbing right away instead of me pushing it over halfway down then it grabs now it's grabbing instantly which is how it's supposed to be as you guys know I did the Brembo brake package on this thing and I also upgraded the stainless steel lines put some Z1 Motorsports lines so it's, it got all the air that you can imagine so it got the whole system was full of air so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this close everything up and I'm gonna drive it tomorrow see how I feel and if I feel like there's a little bit more air in the front I'm gonna redo the front ones and we'll see how it goes so I hope you guys I hope this video is helpful for you I highly recommend you guys get this bleeder it helped a lot and I did it all myself pretty quick and easy as I said we have this new 300 ZX and I will explain that in probably the next video what exactly that car is for Later this week, I am going to be doing the clutch on the 350Z. Finally, I need to get to it. Um, sneak peek, I did get a stage three six puck clutch, so it's gonna be a lot better than what it is there now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys, and give it a big fat thumbs up if it was, and leave some comments, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you guys would like to see more of, and how am I doing on my videos recently. Recently started school, so as you guys probably did not notice, so. If you guys want to see the daily updates on Instagram, I'll put it up right here. 2 Joe Z. Um, we got. I'm still waiting on Turbonetics to see what they're gonna say about Tina's turbo. Fingers crossed we get that good news. But oh my gosh, guys, this is a huge difference. That air makes a huge difference, and you guys gotta make sure you get all that air out. It's bad. Let's put this thing in the garage. And then we gotta go edit this video. Damn, look at that sky, that's crazy. Sick. <laughs>